Welcome back to MWA Extreme Uprising. And we're about to get started with our third match, which involves the MWE Intercontinental Championship belt. Coming down to the ring is YouTube legend and soon to be wrestling legend and current MWE Intercontinental Champion, MB Wrestler 87. Tonight, he must once again face Bloodstream, only this time in Extreme Rules First Blood Match. I think for months, or for weeks, Bloodstream has become nothing more but a thorn in MB Wrestler's side. And Bloodstream wants nothing more than to become MWE Intercontinental Champion again. But in order to do that, he must face this man. The man who is pumped, the man who is ready, the man who is still the MWE Intercontinental Champion, MB Wrestler 87. And now we are going to wait on the challenger. He is the leader of the Zombicons. He is the man who had defeated MB Wrestler 87 to become the first ever MWE Intercontinental Champion. And the man who believes will become champion again. Zombicon Blood Scream. Some of his Zombicon pals are going to be banned from ringside. Because if they ever try to interfere in this very match. And they, if they interfere. Blood Scream won't get another shot ever again. And once again I forgot to put down his main plate. Silly me. Anyway, MB Wrestler and Bloodstream are two NWE gladiators who will stop at nothing to become champions. Even if the means beating each other up to a bloody pulp, in which they will do tonight at Extreme Uprising. Yes, indeed, the crowd is definitely not liking Bloodstream one bit. Some say he's a mixture of Edge and Randy Orton. I say he's both. He has two deadly moves. The Bloody Spear and the BKO. The MB Wrestler has two moves of his own. The MB Onslaught and the MB Rock. Yes indeed. Blood Spear. MB Wrestler 87. Extreme Rules first blood match for the MWE Intercontinental Championship belt. On the line tonight in this very match. This is definitely going to be some good stuff. If you don't believe me, you better sit tight and watch. I've neglected to mention this earlier on that most of the matches in which you'll see here in Extreme Uprising will have no referees. That's right, no referees. But they'll still do the, um, the, um, the, the one, two, three counts. They'll still do that. But anyway, back to the action. MB Wrestler 87 is working on the legs of Bloodstream as he sets his sights on the guy who has made his life a living hell. MB Wrestler 87 putting in those chops to Bloodstream. Irish whip by MB. Belly to belly suplex by MB Wrestler 87. Nice technical work, but he gets raked in the eyes by Bloodstream who puts in those punches and a big stiff punch to the face of MB Wrestler 87. Irish whip by Bloodstream. Trying to put in the punch, but missed that one. But he puts in a, a nice kick to the gut. Grappled by him by Bloodstream. Oh man. Bloody side effect. Bloodstream is definitely on the offensive in this extreme first blood match. And now he's working on the legs of MB Wrestler 87. Which one of these two will come out on top as MWE Intercontinental Champion? No telling what's going to happen in this very match because you'll have to keep watching this very match to find out what happens. MB Wrestler, I guess he's about to go for his own patented finisher or a move in which wasn't executed right. MB Wrestler now gets hit with a big leg drop by Blood Screen. Yeah, this match is getting good so far. He grapples. Short order clothesline by Blood Screen. Nicely done. Now he picks up MB Wrestler. Ends up here to the back of the head. There are no pins and no submissions. The only way to win is to bust him wide open. Make him bleed. And now he grabs the sledgehammer. And he's using it to crush the ribs of MB Wrestler. And we'll be right back with more of this action. Do not go anywhere because it's getting good.